trendsetters, John with Gravel Cyclist. I'm coming to you late that night inside my garage burning the midnight oil. That's because late today I took receipt of Lightspeed's new Ultimate Titanium Aero Gravel Bike. It's inside this very sizable box. In fact, it's so sizable that um, delivery via UPS, FedEx or DHL wasn't possible. Rather, Lightspeed relies on a company called YRC and this company came to my neighborhood in a 18-wheeler semi-trailer, dropped off the box and then reversed out. It was actually quite the sight. Now, the reason behind the sizable box, it's uh, almost a triangle, is that the bike inside is virtually ready to ride with a minimum of adjustments. So let's pop open the box and see what the Lightspeed Ultimate Aero Gravel Bike looks like. First item coming out of the box is the Lightspeed Titanium Setback Seat Post with a DI2 internalized battery, and there is a WTB saddle mounted. The front wheel is by Stans. It's a Grail ZTR or ZTR if you prefer, and uh, mounted to it is a Panarasa Gravel King SK tubeless ready gravel tire. Now this tire is set up with tubes right now, and that's going to have to change. Also inside the box are some little packages. I've got no clue what's inside here, so let's pop them open. And it happens to be a, there we go, a Lightspeed t-shirt. That's a nice little present, isn't it? There's one more little package. Inside is the DI2 charger. And, well, this would be your invoice, assuming you purchased this bike. The last thing to unpack is the rest of the bike. Go. Okay, one light speed ultimate aero gravel bike. So here is the light speed ultimate gravel bike, and as you can see, it's almost ready to ride direct from the factory. So all I'm going to do is uh, I'll convert the wheels to tubeless. Now you don't have to do that, but that's my personal choice. I uh, will uh, remove the spaces here beneath the stem. Likely slam it. I just have to consult my uh, measurement tape for the exact height requirement. Uh, adjust the handlebars to the correct orientation. Connect the DI2 um, wiring to the battery, which lives inside the seat post. And then remove any of the packing material on the frame. Install a pair of pedals, a pair of bottle cages, and it's pretty close to being rideable. So I expect this might take no more than half an hour, uh, including the tubeless tire setup. But honestly, if this that wasn't required, you could probably have this bike rolling in about 10 minutes or less. Just real quick, some of the specs. Um, Shimano's Ultegra DI2 systems on the bike with hydraulic disc brakes, and they are flat mount. The cassette, I believe it's an 1132. I haven't confirmed that. It just looks like that from this vantage point. It also has Shimano's uh, RX DI2 rear derailleur, which features the clutch, that's awesome. And uh, this is a Praxis Zante aluminium crankset without flopping sides here. I believe it's a 4832 chain ring set. So anyway, I'm going to be reviewing this bike long term. So uh, watch this space for the full review coming soon to gravelcyclist.com. Uh, Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.